What's up, guys? It's your boy Zaki you know, 90 and I'm back with another story time. <laughs> what the fuck? You know, I'm looking a little, little cool and shit. Got the beanie. Yeah. Yo, bitch, want me, but she don't want me. Wait. Stop it. Get some help. I don't know what I just said. <laughs> but no. You see the title of the story. And you're wondering what the fuck is going on. Alright, let's take you back. Way I'm I'm saying way back like I was fifty. I'm fifty and like I'm talking tight shit. But uh let me take you back when um what was it? I think my I don't remember what year. But it was, I think it was my going to my 11th grade year, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, so this story happens back in the summertime of that time, right? So, you know how we rep, we have you rep, you know how we rep Mississippi State. Hey, shit. We went to their rivals, Ole Miss, you know. Fuck Ole Miss. You understand why I, do why I say this, right? <laughs> so, sometime of my, one of my junior, right? Uh, <clears throat> we had this camp. Uh, I think it was uh, my school brought out like six people. I want to say my, both my cousins. So, Braxton and Brandon, uh, Jeremiah, uh, why yeah. me and Coop, if I'm not mistaken. I think I think it was like I think Mario, if I'm not mistaken, Mario. Um like seven, right? If I'm not mistaken, right? So with that being said, you know, we there for a week or two if I'm not mistaken. So um, you know, it's basically like a little uh, old summer business type of thing, right? Because I mean, we going enough for business and everything, you know? you know. We were just basically like entrepreneur summer type shit. I can't remember why we actually went, but yeah, you know, my my uh, my coach he was like, "Yo, you want to go?" Da, 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 like, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to remember, like, so um. So, um, sorry about that. I'll read the text. <clears throat> so, I'm really just trying to remember. Okay, so I know, uh, we was in that bitch for like a week or two, right? I made mean, some, of my, some of the cool people I still, you know, associate with, right? Uh, Cameron, damn, can't think of his name, and some more people, and some, and some shorty. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> That summer, it was cool. It was cool. It was straight. So basically, we kept going. We had, like, we woke up, you know, had their breakfast at their cow. Um, we did like we were going to college type shit, but it was cool. We slept in our dorms. They had some lit dorms. I ain't gonna go with you, but that wasn't better than Mississippi State. But, but y'all just saying like he just talking shit. I really am because I don't remember like. I don't remember this incident. Oh yeah, every time like you know we had a little, we had like two, three classes. And it was basically the same people. You know we had to go to the people and everything. We just talk about like what we had to do, what we wanted to do in life, and this and that. Like how we want to you know go out our life and everything, do our life. And so I had came up with something called uh, it is. I came up with a company called Job Plug. And back then, I well, yeah, back then I really was into software engineering, you know, coding and everything. So I was coming up like, yo, I wanted to make this out and make it reality and everything. So job plug was basically, it was like a, it's like the indeed now, right? You go in, you know, look for a job and do the do. But it was way before back before indeed was popular or whatever or wasn't even made, right? So like, okay, cool, like yo, you know, people like yo, you gotta do. I'm gonna say, bro, but. We come in the age where phones are so important. Where people don't want to go out and do, you know, go in a newspaper, look, because, you know, the newspaper shit is kind of old, right? So, came up with Job Plug. Job Plug is basically, you go on the app, you put in your information, 
we get we look for you the job or you come into our headquarters or you can do a job at our headquarters type shit. So so on so on, like we we will provide like let's say you want to do lawn or you want to cut people grass but you didn't have, you didn't have the stuff. We will provide for you. Basically, we was like a rental center. Indeed, like, you know that was low key hard. I, if I can find a notebook, I think it's at my mom's place though. I don't know where the notebook get, but that shit was so hard. I had to um, I had the whole thing planned up. So like some days go by, right? And uh, we usually okay, we usually go hoop and everything around every time we got done so, uh, school, right? We was all go hoop. I'm talking about we killing, but with me, Braston. Cam, we were, cool. we were killing motherfuckers out there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We run threes, we just run, or whatever we had to do, right? We were killing motherfuckers. And so, we were always running to like people from college who was actually taking uh, some of the class and everything. You know, it was, some, it was some white girls, some black girls, it was all day, right? And then we were all past this one motherfucker, right? No, we were past, well, we were all past three groups of women, right? It was me. Braston, no, yeah, Braston, Cam, other dude, Mario, it was all our boys besides Coop and Brandon, right? Mind you, these old two names, Brandon and Coop, gonna be important, right? So, we walked past them three. I said, I said, yo, why do I just, I said, hey, y'all need help. Cause they were taking pictures. I said, y'all want me to take y'all picture and everything for you? He said, oh, shit, go ahead, go ahead. It was three girls, right? And they said, okay, go ahead. I took the picture, like, y'all look good as shit. Like, I'm doing my thing, you know, I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm doing my thing, you know, they don't need to know, though. Like, yeah, you look like, they said, appreciate it. Oh, that's so cute. Then they said, you look good. I'm like, ah, appreciate it. And then, you know, he my little thing. I ain't gonna back up, because I ain't really fuck with white girls, you know. <laughs> so, shit. So, you know, I did my thing. Everybody, oh, oh. They used to call me Larry back then. They said, oh, Larry. It was a fun fact. Cause Jeremiah, he used to call me Larry. Cause it's Larry is my dad's name, and I had his iPad. And they said, "Who the fuck is Larry?" You know, they, you know, like they said, "Who the fuck is this?" Is Larry's iPad? It's like, "Who the fuck is Larry?" Cause we didn't had the Wi-Fi information at that point on the first day. Like, who the fuck is Larry? I said, "That's my dad." He said, "Oh, you Larry?" And Jeremiah Ramsey said, "Larry." Every time he's in me, Larry, that would be my nickname over the summer. Then you know, coming back to school that shit. So. They said, oh shit, Larry, did your thing. I said, yeah. They knew my name. They said, you know, they called me Larry. So Larry, did your thing. I, so we walking up to the gym. We see this one shorty running. Then somebody said, oh, let me go to her. I said, and most of us said, no, nah, go ahead, let her do her thing. And we let her do her thing. And then as soon as she passed by, we was like, yeah, let's let her go and type shit, right? So we didn't pay no mind. Nobody said shit to her, right? Nobody said shit to her, right? So we walk into the gym. We hooping. Then we come back. And we, they like, yo, we need to talk to all y'all, right? We like, what the fuck? What, what happened? And so they bring us to the room and shit. We looking confused. Like, like you you don't go, you don't go. He, and we, everybody, all the guys in that, you know, in that group. And that whole uh, program was in that room. Mind you, mind you, the guy who hit us up, who, who was talking to us, he was a little, yeah, like, you knew if you, he was a little tight shit. No offense, I'm just saying. He was a little tight shit. So, with that being said, um, cool. He asked, hey, I was with them. No, no, no. He didn't even say shit. He said, you, you can go. And we like, what the fuck? How can he go? And then he said, yo, my cousin Brandon, who don't be with us. He wasn't with us. He was really just in his room. He said, yo, can I go? He said, no. And when we heard, no, he, bro, <laughs> Brass and Brandon, they, they, they brothers, right? Brass and said, what the fuck? He don't. My brother don't even be with us. He be in his room chilling. And you like that mother? I can't say it. I can't say it. He said you, but you let that go. And then we like all this like, bro. What the? How, how the fuck he can go? But he can't go. He don't even be with us. And he, cause y'all like it the same shit. <laughs> we was ruthless. 
But he was like, uh-uh, uh, 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 And so we get into it, bro. We like, he was like, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I y'all should be going, I y'all should be getting kicked out of this program right now. Or he said, or oh, y'all should be going to jail right now. We said for what? And when we said for what, he told us for what he said. When y'all was going out, walking and everything, whatever y'all did, y'all harassed this white woman who jogging. And we all looked at each other and said, what the fuck? When we said, what the fuck? We said, who? Then he said, the white woman that was jogging with the little dude. And this is what he fucked up at. Because she, he said, Y'all had on blue shirts that day. Cause we had blue shirts and a white shirt. But t that day, well today, we had on white shirts type shit. You know, you know. No, I, the inc this incident happened. Okay, my bad. The incident happened, okay, one day. Then he called us the next day type shit, my bad. So he said, y'all had on blue shirts. We said, no, we didn't. We had on white shirts. Cause we know which shirts we had. And we had on blue shirts that day because, you know, yeah, we had to switch it out. And we said, no, we didn't. We had on. Um, yeah. So what are you talking about? What is she talking about? We all getting impatient. For, we literally cussing this nigga out because he accusing us for what we did. He said, well, well, we like, we telling him we didn't do shit to him. We literally said, we seen her walk by, seen her jog and everything, right? And we were about to, somebody was about to holler. Then all of a sudden, we said, never mind, just let her go. And that's when she passed us. So, you want to say this and that? Get your facts straight. That's what we said to do. He like, all right, bro. We don't got it's hit her word versus y'all word. And we don't got evidence. We saying, of course y'all don't got evidence. But it was a, I, I literally, I said this, I said, but y'all want to take up for the white woman against us, black, like the black group. Cause oh, it was all niggas in the school, and it's one white woman. But y'all want to take up for her over us, and we just minding our business, going to the gym or who? We didn't give a fuck about no white motherfuckers. We gave a fuck about us hooping. And so after that, bro, it was just a whole like he was like, oh, I should call y'all people, tell them that up. And mind you, we came with our school. If our school hit up like, yo, da da da, they out here because they want to imagine if somehow our principal was watching this, we didn't do it. I swear, our right hand to God, we didn't do this. She just literally said it because she seen a, you know, y'all seen, um, what was that movie? Damn, The Last of, the last of Us. If that's tight shit, you know, we got to accuse. Cause they fucked up, you know. She, you know, she thought we was trying to hop. Nobody wanted her fucking ass. Nobody wanted her ugly ass. Just, <laughs> oh, this is give me up because nobody wanted you. But you accusing us because of months of black people going and enjoying our college. You know, we on college and everything, trying to enjoy our life. But you want to come around and just do this. So eventually, we talked our way out of it because we really didn't do shit. And he just had word against word. And we were still hot because this motherfucker let Coop go. And not Brandon who actually wasn't with us. Because Coop was with the girls. Brandon was in his room just chilling, doing his thing. Brandon was a quiet motherfucker. He didn't have it. You know. So. And we. Now they dad was threatening us. Yo, hey, we're going to call the cops. Because y'all, this is a har harassment. I'm saying harassment for what? Do y'all have proof that we did this? And we tell you we didn't do it. And you telling us we had this amount of clothes on that day. We didn't have that clothes, no many, that many clothes on. We didn't have, I mean, that many. We didn't have that color uh, shirt on. So this evidence, y'all, getting this evidence is false. This evidence is ass. This evidence is ass, nigga. I got to see my bottom <laughs> thirsty. But, yeah, this is a story of how I um, literally could have went to jail for that shit. But thank God we didn't. Because, man, oh, man, it was going to be hard to explain to our parents and our, t our school. Crazy. <laughs> 
But this is why I don't fuck with old Miss, though. I don't fuck with old Miss. I don't fuck with old Piss. Fuck old Piss. Real shit. That I, I was literally going to go to old Miss. If it was for that incident, I would be. At, I would have went to Ole Miss. Real shit. But I went to Mississippi State, the better motherfucking university of Mississippi. Fuck, nigga. I'm only, only doing this because I know who's watching this. So, but yeah, um, quick story time. Um, make sure you love your life, live your life, and love it again. Say <laughs> out. You did.